Well, if you follow my channel, you know that I had this crazy idea to revive my old ink miner from Bitmain V9. You know what is my second craziest idea now? No, you cannot guess. I'm going to solo mine Bitcoin in 2023. Maybe it will work, maybe not. But who knows? Let's give it a try. So I will show you how can you set up a solo mining using your machine in this video. Let's hop into the video. Now we are going to set up our Ain't Miner V9 for solo mining using Popular Pool via BTC. Why I've used via BTC? Well, I like the way my miner is represented. My information is displayed over here. It's really easy to connect and it's really easy to change to solo. And I will show you how we can do it in a few moments. First of all, we'll need to get our pool URL mining address. To do so, we are going to select this one, stratum plus tcp btc dot via btc dot io at port 3333. Okay, so let's copy it. It's copied successfully. Go to our miner, miner configuration. Okay, paste. Over here, under our worker, we'll be using our via btc user, which is in my case this one. So let's let me put my username. Okay, and the worker name it will be there v9. Okay, so this is done, and the password will be one two three. Okay, so it's done. Let's save it and wait for a few minutes. Okay, the settings are applied. Let's go to our minor stats. We will need to wait for a few minutes before any information will appear here. Let's refresh our dashboard. Okay, so you can see we are mining at 151 gigahash at the moment for seven seconds. We have no errors and we have connected successfully. Okay, so let's go back to the ABTC pool to see if our miner is displayed over here. Let's refresh it. Okay, so we have one active miner. Let's see our workers and miner V9. Okay, so we have successfully connected our miner. Okay, now we'll need to change our mode to solo mode. To do this, let's go to dashboard and over here, account info, go to BTC pool and type of mining is PPLNS. Change solo. Confirm. Okay, so we have successfully changed to solo mining. Let's return to our dashboard. You can see that the miner is active, but we still have no hash rate. We'll need to wait for at least five minutes for miner to submit the information to the pool so that we can see anything. I will come back in a few minutes to show you how the information is displayed on the pool. So our miner is running for five minutes. We should be able to see some info on the BTC. Let's refresh it. Okay, so we have some information that we are mining at average 117 gigahash per second, and we are starting to have a graph. The good thing is that we have a zero rejection rate. So basically, this is how you connect to solo mining on the BTC. Well, we are solo mining Bitcoin. Isn't that crazy? I hope that you will have the best of luck to hit that block. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for similar content. This was Alex and I hope to see you soon in my upcoming videos. Take care. Bye bye.